Boys! I am back from my accidental break. I didn't mean to go away for a full week. Hopefully, you all survived without me. Uh, some good news, though. I got my new FNAF AR mugs, and I got some of oh, these bad boys. I'll talk about them in a different video. This video is very important, I will say. Normally, I'll open up with a joke to get you guys excited. You know, for those who clicked on the video, you know, get them interested in what I'm talking about. Which, by the way, if you clicked on this video and you're new, I highly, highly recommend subscribing. Not only will I be making a video on all of these new merchandise I got from FNAF AR, but also, we are a FNAF channel, so of course, we're gonna keep talking about Security Breach. And hey, if you hate me, and you don't want to subscribe because you don't like my face and you, you don't want to see it in your sub box, please, at least like the video. So, anyways, now that I'm done with that, I want to emphasize even more just how big this video is and just how massive the things we're covering in this video are. I have received some information on the lore of Security Breach and the lore of FNAF AR. This was leaked um, as far as I'm aware, earlier today, but it has been known by a few people for about a year. This was found in the game files of FNAF AR. It is official, let me just say. It is 100% legit. And because it's legit, and because it covers the lore, something that, you know, only quite a few people who like this series care about, uh, that was a joke, obviously. People love the frickin' lore of this franchise. If you don't want to be spoiled for the upcoming game and the rest of FNAF AR, I'm not even joking, click off this video right now. It's it's not worth the spoilers. Because again, this is big stuff right here. And because Security Breach is such a big game and so many people are excited to play it and see videos on it, if you don't want to get spoiled, please, please, I'm, I'm begging you, click off this video. Before you do, you know, smash the like button, click off the video. Again, this is your final chance. A lot of lore, massive lore, of Security Breach and FNAF AR is in this video. And I, I, it may seem like I'm trying to drag this out for watch time, which, hey, that's a pretty good idea. But I, again, I just want to make sure that you guys don't get spoiled when you don't want to get spoiled. And I, I think I've been pretty good with keeping spoilers off this channel. You know, like I always black out my thumbnails when merchandise gets um, released for FNAF Security Breach. So, you know, I, I want to keep going with that because I know how it feels to be spoiled. It sucks. So anyways, hopefully all those guys are gone. If, you, if you're sticking around, then hey. Good for you, I guess. Prepare to have the biggest <laughs> FNAF game in history be spoiled for you. Yeah, so like I said, all of this has been in the game for about a year, and it's cr it's crazy to think that it's just been in the game, but people have been so good at hiding it. Which, by the way, for those people who have known about this information, honestly, thank you so much for keeping it um, on the low end so, you know, we don't get spoiled. So all of these are leaked emails, um, unreleased emails from Special Delivery. Honestly, there's a lot of emails, some of which have already been released, so I don't feel like I need to go over every single one. Of course, I'm gonna hit upon some ones that we really should focus in on, but I'll leave a link down below to a, a document where you can view all of the emails. I'm just gonna do kind of some quick summaries, and then we can talk about what all of this means. So, this image is actually from Kane Carter on Twitter. Thank you so much, Kane, for this image. He's linked down below, go check him out. It says, back in December of 2019, Illumix stopped pushing out all story emails for the game, and we haven't had a single one since. I've decided to come out today about a year later and share that around the time they stopped pushing them out, I found something in the files. I came across every unreleased story email the game, in the game, I bet they're trying to say, all of them. The emails go in depth in the work of the company that Fazbear Entertainment contracted, as well as all exchanges between Lewis and Vanessa going much further. The essentials of what happens in the emails is that there are two sides of the story that get mixed between each other, Vanny and Lewis's side of the story, and the contractors, I will be posting a small summary. There will be spoilers you all want. Again, the final fucking time. You may say I'm hyping this up too much, because I am, this is big. Contractors side first. Fazbear Entertainment Contractors, an unnamed company, to make and ship out the animatronics we see in-game, we know that already. However, after the contractors scan in a virus into their systems on accident, they contact Fazbear Entertainment Tech, tech Support sorry, for assistance, where someone under the name VA takes the request and asks that they gain full access to the company's system. V underscore A essentially gets rid of the virus, but doesn't fully get rid of it, and only makes it undetectable to the contractors. When the contractors think they got rid of the virus, 
Congress and start walking again, VA starts sending unauthorized commands to gain complete control over their systems and servers while locking every employee out of their account. On Vanessa's side, I'll talk about the stuff you guys don't know. So again, this is why I'm not going over every single email because there's a lot of them. <laughs> Trust me, if you've, if you've seen the document, again, link down below if you want to go check all of them out, there's a lot. Vanessa essentially swindles Lewis into letting her sign up for a senior IT account, which she accepts the contractor's request as VA and gains full access into the system where she is turn locks all the employees out of the system and starts sending commands where it's implied that the animatronics kill everyone in the contractor's warehouse overnight. Eventually, you get an email from underscore pizzaplex which is revealed earlier to be fake credentials that Vanessa signed up with, which lists off all of the Fazbear Entertainment Floor 3 employees as well as their birthdays, ages, uh, and company retreats, favorite cakes, as well as their plans for a company retreat. The most interesting thing are layoffs. They list the four quarter transfers and layoffs of FE employees. FE meaning Fazbear Entertainment. One of them is Vanessa's. Vanessa is shown to work as security and her transfer is listed as security to security transfer request. I will also mention that Lewis receives a package while the contractors are being locked out of their systems that Vanessa receives a package in the office that contains fabric and asks if she is making a costume. So that is the whole summary. There is, again, a lot. It, it is a lot, and it really sucks that this all got leaked because this sets up the entire story for um, Security Breach. So, first things first, the main thing uh, I want to talk about is <laughs> Vanny's security role. Now, where have we where have we seen this before? Well, it's none other than Funko's uh, figurine statue of Vanny and Vanessa. I know a lot of people were saying, oh, they can't be the same because look, they're in the same um, location, you know, Vanessa is hiding from Vanny. That doesn't make any sense. And on the box it says Vanny and Vanessa. Why wouldn't they do Vanny slash Vanessa? But it seems like from these emails, it is confirmed Vanny is security woman, which is pretty interesting to think about. So technically we do have an official appearance of Vanny, even if she doesn't have the rainbow hair, which I'm kind of upset about. Oh, so the Pizzaplex name, that does kind of um, confirm that Pizzaplex is going to be making an appearance in this game, you could say. Um, if you guys forget way, way back in one of Funko's first ever leaks for Security Breach, we got that name, Pizzaplex, and we thought that was the name of the game, but it turns out that is just the, um, the fake credentials uh, for Vanessa when she signed up for this job. Also, uh, Vanny gets a package in the mail that comes to the office, and it is a lot of fabric. Um, I don't know if it's white fabric, I don't know if it's yellow fabric, I'm guessing it's probably white. <laughs> it would make sense based off of Vanny. Also, if I'm looking over here, if you knew, I have my security breach poster right there, so it just helps, you know, to look at the characters when I'm talking about them, so I don't get any wrong information. Since it is a handmade, like, sewn costume, it makes sense that that is the fabric that she got, and this does confirm that Vanny, you know, the rabbit in a costume, is not an animatronic. I think a lot of people were thinking that because of the glowing eyes in the trailer. Um, I guess she's got some light bulbs going on in there. I don't know how that works, but cool. Um, and this virus, of course, it's, it's obviously a glitch trap, you know? He, he is the virus, he is the anomaly, as he's referred to by, um, Tape Girl. So yeah, all of the characters, all of the animatronics, they kill all of the warehouse employees overnight, which is kind of scary to think about. Honestly, this, this FNAF AR game, it has a lot of lore hidden underneath, um, hidden underneath the surface, and I kind of wish that they kept doing these emails because getting these would be freaking incredible. I'm not gonna lie, th this is amazing. I would love to read this in-game. I think it's cool to read about. Obviously, you know, killing people is not cool. I'm not saying that's cool, but it makes for an interesting story and a very good setup for Security Breach. It's also worth noting that, um, it says Fazbear Entertainment Floor 3, so, I don't know if this big warehouse thing is part of the mall. Because if you remember in the trailer, we did get that shot of what looked to be a warehouse in the very beginning of the trailer. So, is this mall and warehouse the same building? Are they separate buildings and we will be exploring them individually? I don't know. Um, I'm leaning more towards them being the same building because the mall has three stories, I believe. Uh, correct me if I'm wrong in the comments, I'm sure you will. I feel like that's probably it. Um, I'm not sure where the story is going to go next. I don't know if they're going to continue emails because, I mean, this is a, a massive leak. If you made it to 
the end of the video, congratulations, you just spoiled yourself for the biggest FNAF game uh, in the franchise. Normally I wouldn't read about this, but because it is my job, it's a little unfortunate that I had to read this and then I had to share it with you guys, but, you know, I'm a FNAF News channel, that's what I gotta do. And hopefully only the people that really wanted to know about this watched the, the whole video because, again, I don't want to spoil people if they don't want to be spoiled. I know that sucks. Personally, I know how it feels, and it's just the worst thing. Yeah, so that confirms a lot of stuff about Vanny, and it's gonna be interesting to see, again, if they continue doing emails, because this is a big thing that just happened, and I'm guessing this is probably why they stopped doing them. And I'm still amazed that this was found out a year ago, and these people have, again, thankfully, kept it all under the covers, you know? They tried to hide it away from the public as, as much as they could, Obviously, it was going to get out eventually, but honestly, I'm surprised and very thankful that they kept this from us, even if it did come out. Now, that's basically it. I'll be coming back, boys. I swear. I, I did not mean to take a break. That is completely on me. Also, if you did not see the uh, winter event for uh, <laughs> Security Breach, Special Delivery, there we go, I'm mixing up my games, um, it got delayed by about one or two days. A lot of stuff going on in the Illumix office with um, like bug fixing and the update itself. They just give them a few days. So that's it. Thanks for watching. Hopefully FNAF, FNAF leaks can stop because this is, this is not PogChamp, boys. All right. See you on the flip side. Bye. Gregory, be still. I think she's found us.